Have you ever felt so busy and yet not productive? Like your day was slammed full, but at the end of the day, you didn't really feel like you got that much accomplished. This is a problem that the vast majority of human beings face in today's information age. And we've grown up with the idea that busy equals good. And I'm here to tell you today that busy actually equals lazy. And I'm gonna explain what I mean right now. You see, busy to me equals lazy. It equals sick. Matter of fact, it's actually been scientifically proven that those who are very busy, especially in their mind, that leads to sickness. Those that are very busy in their mind lead to depression. They lead to a boring existence. And ultimately, we use the word busy all the time just as an excuse to not do epic shit. If you want to start living a life more full of adventure, then you have to carve out the time out of your busy schedule to be able to do that. So what do I exa what do I mean exactly when I say busy equals lazy? Let me tell you. Busy, if you're busy, then you're lazy in your thinking because you're you're not thinking big enough and bold enough to actually cut out the unnecessary things in your life so that you can do the things that you enjoy. See, it's really easy to associate activity with productivity, but we got to be careful to never do those things. They're not the same. You can be extremely active and not productive. It's like we feel like we're some fish. We're like swimming upstream, paddling as hard as we can up this upstream, and you really feel like you're putting in a lot of activity, a lot of effort is going into this, and yet the truth is you're not going anywhere. You're putting in a lot of activity, but you're not actually going anywhere. So if you don't feel like you have the time to do the things that you want to do, or you don't have time for life, then you don't have your priorities in order. Is what you're, so ask yourself this question right now, is what you're doing really what you want to be doing? Is it? Now I'm gonna give you three simple steps right now to move from busy mindset to chill and productive mindset. And uh, the number one, the number one thing that we need to do is to simplify. That is to cut the fat. Video right here on uh, how to begin to simplify and cut the fat from your life. But this is the biggest thing that we need to do, uh, because when we cut all out all the unproductive or the unnecessary things out of our existence, we're making time for the things that matter most to us. The second thing is meditate. And if you don't want to meditate, just slow down. But see, the thing is, meditation actually helps you slow down your mind or move from a beta brainwave that's only capable of processing about 40 to 50 bits of information per second into alpha, theta, delta, and even gamma brainwaves that are capable of, of really producing so much more or even able to bring in more information into your brain. This is just like speed reading. You can learn how to read at a much faster pace. You might not be able to, but you can't read the way that you have to change the way that you think in order to be able to read at a faster pace. And so when we meditate, we're actually opening ourselves up to uh, slow down. And when you slow down, you actually become more productive because you start doing shit more on purpose. And I'm gonna talk about these meditation, a few meditation techniques, maybe in another video uh, where I can give more time to them. And then the third thing is innovate. If you wanna move from being busy to a more chill lifestyle, you gotta start being more innovative. Uh, innovation is something that very few people have these days because we've been trained to be factory workers. We've been trained to work for the man. If you wanna start, raising the bar and enjoying life and becoming more epic and living more and living more in adventure then you got to be more innovative with your time with your energy and with your work if you're working a factory job don't feel stuck if you feel stuck and you probably do if you're in some sort of factory uh, job or some uh, dead end position at work you probably feel pretty stuck use that as a motivational tool to or as a springboard into something else. Take, begin to carve out some of those finances to and use them, invest them to begin creating the new future, the new you. 
You see, there are no more excuses. People are always like, well, Silas, I can't do what I enjoy because I'm so daggone busy at work. I'm working so much. There are no excuses. Create a one-year goal for yourself next year at this time or a six-month goal, a three-month goal. In three months, I'm going to do this. And then once you have that three-month goal in place, you begin to take the resources that you currently have and you cut all the fat, all the unnecessary things, take the resources that you have and begin to invest those resources. And the number one resource that you're going to invest is your energy and your time. And invest them into making sure that that goal happens. And that one three-month goal is a springboard into your six-month goal, is a springboard into your yearly goal, and is a springboard into your big picture why video here on that. I love you. I know that if you practice these three simple steps, simplify, meditate, innovate, that it will dramatically make an enormous difference in your life. It'll take you from busy to chill, just like that. Have a beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.